That's right, guys. We're riding the 2022 Royal Enfield Himalayan. Stay tuned. What's up, riders? Old Man Ronan here, and welcome back to the channel. Yeah, we're on the uh, 2022 Royal Enfield Himalayan, and we're riding it for a couple different reasons. Not only this video, where we're going to talk about if this is a great bike for not only beginners, but seasoned riders, and also off-road ADV enthusiasts, but it can also be a great all-around bike as well, too. But we're also going to do a comparison, and that comparison is between my 2018 Royal Enfield Himalayan and this one, the 2022. It should be a fun video. You know, I'm gonna tell you right now that this motorcycle, I should say this model of motorcycle, has made me a huge fan of the Royal Enfield family of motorcycles. Because without this, I would have never had the opportunity to ride you know, the Meteor 350 or the Classic 350 or the Interceptor, nope. uh, the INT 650 or the Continental GT, any of those motorcycles, because, you know, I really wouldn't have considered them too much. Me being an American and, and not seeing too many of them in my lifetime, I remember back in the uh, late 90s, it, there was a place in Canton, Ohio, which uh, I'm originally from Northeast Ohio. This is uh, Southeast or South Central East Ohio. Um, <laughs> We uh, we had one dealer that sold uh, Royal Enfields, and uh, to be honest with you, he you know he was he's a great vintage bike builder, uh, but uh, he he didn't really sell a whole lot of them, and I don't think he's a dealer anymore. But I, I rode one of the old 500 classics and uh, or bullets, I guess is what you should say, and uh, I, I actually really loved the way they looked. And uh, but to be honest with you, he uh, he at the time was more pushing me towards buying an older Honda. So I decided, well, if the dealer's not doing that, <laughs> why would I? Why would I be interested? Long story short, give 20 years later, or 25 years later, I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm sitting here on the 2022 Royal Enfield Himalayan because of my love of this brand, and that started with my 2018. If you guys don't know the story, I want you to check out my. WTF is a Harley rider doing on a Himalayan video, and I'll put a little uh, card up there in the corner for you to check it out. But uh, that's the why, that's the reason why I'm on this uh, these models of bikes. Well, let me start with the video is why I think it's a great all-around bike. Number one, it's cost effective. I'm telling you, I, I know they're a little bit more expensive when they first came here, uh, but I'll be honest with you, these bikes here, they, they really are, considering they've got a three-year warranty, and I'm not going to list a manufactured suggested retail because I think that stuff changes, and I'm not sure when you guys are going to watch this video. I mean, it may be in 2025. Who knows? I mean, I got videos now that are, when I first started the channel, that are still getting a lot of views, and that makes me extremely happy. But what I'm getting at is uh, they're very cost-effective given the fact that it has a three-year warranty and three-year roadside assistance. <laughs> Man, that's... That is industry leading, if you ask me. Well, not to ask me, just look. You know, I uh, rode the W800 here and uh, from Kawasaki, and I really love that bike. That thing is an amazing little motorcycle. But man, it has a 12-month warranty, unless you want to pay extra. But as far as the uh, as far as the Himalayan goes and the Royal Enfield brand, with that kind of warranty, man, just the fact that it's low cost and the big warranty that comes with it makes it probably one of the better motorcycle buys, if not the best, on the market today. And I know a lot of guys are really turning themselves on to the Royal Enfield, particularly with the high price of fuel that's going on worldwide. But as far as the great value, I think that's probably one of the best reasons why to consider this brand and this motorcycle. Now the Himalayan itself, I'm telling you guys, I've taken this thing pretty much anywhere that a person can possibly go. And uh, you're seeing some of the footage you hear of me being in the, some of the back roads on my 2018. Now the 2022 uh, obviously has some upgrades that my bike doesn't have. Uh, I'll, I'll briefly go over them and then we're going to do a comparison. Uh, number one, it has a tripper. Uh, number two, it has a big, uh, uh, I should say, a wider screen at the bottom and narrow at the top. It's got a shorter kickstand. Uh, it's got a beefed up. Uh, rear rack for luggage. Um, 
I'm, I'm telling you, and, and the seat is a little bit different. Uh, I have to say of all, well, and also the, the, the uh, tank crash bars are farther away from my knees, which is the biggest improvement if you ask me. The least improvement, I'll tell you right now, I don't like the seat on this. They say it's softer, but what it does is it pushes me forward. And being a person over six foot tall, I would much rather have a flat seat. And I'm, I'm begging Royal Enfield, please, 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 not stock, not standard equipment, but offer an accessory where the seat is the same height as the, or similar to the back seat. If you can do that, guys, you will make us American riders, particularly us taller guys, so much happier. Because that way I can sit up a little higher and move back and forth, particularly uh, if I'm riding some gravel roads or some really, you know, uh, I, I, what I want to do is I want to get into the, into the corners a little bit because this bike does handle real well. And that brings us to the next point. That's right guys, it's time for another Max Eyewear motorcycle specific sunglass giveaway from Old Man Ronin. All you have to do is be a subscriber, make a comment below on this video of what time you saw Little Ronin roll by, and send me an email to oldmanronin at gmail.com and you're entered for this month's giveaway. This thing is so freaking nimble and it's so fun to ride. And what makes it really cool is, you know, like I just went over a little bit of gravel right there. And it, 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 as opposed to other style motorcycles, this adventure style with the, uh, the seat tires on it, with the, you know, I, I don't know the number of them. Uh, I'll put it up in the corner if I can remember to write it down. <laughs> but they're similar to my bike had the MT60s from Pirelli on it. Now they went to seat and I, and I, I, I think they're kind of equal in tire. I think they're actually made by the same company. I don't know. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, I'm just you know, talking out my butt right now. <laughs> but what I'm trying to tell you is, guys, uh, these, these tires that come on it for the average rider are fantastic. They do really well in wet conditions. They do really well in gravel. Uh, not the greatest. Uh, they're not the best in mud. I'll be up front with you. But for the average rider, most of you guys are not going off-road like that. I like riding not road a lot, which is one of the reasons why I bought a Himalayan. As far as acceleration guys, my 265 pound butt, man, I'm up to almost 70 mile an hour already. Because this thing will shit it and get it, man. Uh, that was in fourth gear, now we're in fifth, we're doing 70. This bike will do those speeds. I, I, I love this bike. Again, I, I'm, I'm really blessed that the uh, Mid-Ohio uh, Power Sports lent me this, because that way I could see what the, another Himalayan, because I've never been on another Himalayan before. This is a, well, no, that's true. I've never been on another Himalayan. I've only been on my own. And this reassures and reaffirms everything that I've talked about as far as in my bike. Now, obviously, it's not going to be a long, uh, long distance uh, trip. We're only going to put a couple hundred miles on this bike in the week that we have it. But it does reaffirm that this bike will do pretty much anything I ask it to do. You know, there's another aspect of this motorcycle that makes it a, a good beginning and or ending bike. Nice. <laughs> that, that didn't sound right at all. I'll tell you what, guys. I really do think this is a great motorcycle for new riders. I think it's a great motorcycle for seasoned riders. I guess I'm trying to tell you is I think it's a great motorcycle. And the 2022 has made some really cool innovations that's made it even better than what it was before, in my humble, humble opinion. Let's go this way. Never been on this road. Which is cool. I mean, I play uh, the right and left game with Iron Lady all the time. And what we do by that is we come up to an intersection and say, what do you want to go, right or left? And you find the coolest stuff when you do that. This bike is set up right out of the dealership, which means I haven't adjusted the, uh, the rebound on the uh, suspension for my own personal weight. And it's doing really well. Uh, the seat is a lot softer when, than my original seat. I will tell you that right now. Uh, the biggest improvement are these bars. Without question, I, uh, I, I mean, I've got room. I just wish, and I, I think it'd be better. Let me see if I can fake it, and show you what I'm talking about. But if my seat was up a little higher, I'd be even farther back uh, from the uh, bars as well too, and my knees wouldn't be as cramped. Again, I have a 34-inch inseam, and uh, uh, I do get a, a little bit of a, a stronger bend than I do, like even on the classic 
350, uh, the INT 650. Hey, said it right that time. Uh, or even, well, especially the Meteor because it's got the mid forwards. But uh, yeah, I tell you, they, they 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 made some great improvements. I I really can't tell the difference on the windscreen uh, because that's not a factor for me. I don't really get bothered by buffeting. That's you guys. How dare you? <laughs> Because I've rode most of my life without even a helmet on and no windshield. So it's like, eh, that doesn't really affect me that much. And like I said, my longest trip was 15,000 miles uh, on one trip. And, uh, you know, I just, I just don't go bugged by that stuff. You can hear that engine. Who says this thing doesn't have acceleration? Again, it's 411 cc's, guys. <laughs> you want to hear a terrible dad joke? Look at that horse's ass. You're an idiot! <laughs> I know. My kids used to get so mad at me when I did that. <laughs> Well, guys, I'll tell you what, I've uh, really enjoyed talking to you a little bit about what the 2022 Himalayan is. Uh, it made me feel like I, I really do love the innovations that they put in it. Like I said, the two biggest ones I would say is not only the uh, not only these uh, tank bars that are so much farther forward, but also the kickstand or the side stand for you European guys, because uh, it, it's easier. And I, I'll show you a picture right here in the comparison between the two. It's a lot easier for me on un uneven surfaces especially with the load on the bike uh, for it to, to stand up with a little bit more lean well all in all guys what makes this bike a great value for not only returning uh, riders but also new riders or if you want a second or third motorcycle to, to how you know to really get out there and do some light ADV riding or even heavy AVD riding uh, what I'm talking about by heavy ADV riding this is the place for the really really rough roads and deer trails that you don't want to take your GS's to because most of them never see the dirt anyways Go! but these bikes do that's what they're designed for low speed really rough contain you know really rough conditions that's what they are made for so if you want to have a bike to do that test ride one of the 2022 Himalayans or you know look at some of the older ones like my own they're great motorcycles plus the fact that it's great in gravel roads it's got nimbleness but also stability you're not going to get blown all over the road it weighs enough you're not going to get blown all over the road and another factor is without doubt the cost effectiveness and the ease of maintenance plus the fact that it's a fun fun ass motorcycle well if you enjoyed this video make sure you give us a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe guys please that really does help the channel and hit that bell notification button because it does as well too until next time guys ride safe as always and keep her on two wheels baby <laughs>